Ken, how you doing? I'm doing well, I'm doing well. And uh, today we're gonna talk about 2.0 update for Hydrosynth. This has been an update that's a long time coming. Uh, what we're adding in here now is we're giving all the Hydrosynths the same amount of memory inside. So you get three additional new banks of memory. We've also done a major update to the synthesis engine that allows you now to do per voice modulation inside of the engine. You can also do oscillator bit reduction. And this is kind of a theme throughout the synthesizer is that we want to emphasize not only can you do analog emulation with this wavetable synthesis, but you can also express really interesting digital aspects of the hydrosynth as, as well. So now in our oscillator section, we have this bit reduction, which will take our oscillator from 24 bits all the way down to two bits. And if you look at the screen here, you can see. Ah, so you get the. Yeah, and this works completely on your wavetables as well. So everything can be bit reduced and, and get crunchy and aliasing and just really dirty sounds out of it. If you want to cre recreate something like an old PPG or you know a VIC-20 or something like that, you could do that on here now. And it sounds brilliant. We also have in our LFO section, we now have this quantize knob here and quantize does a very similar thing. So you can have stepping inside of your LFOs. Right, so it's almost like glissando, I guess, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, and what's really interesting about this is that this can give you lots of really rhythmic syncopations and whatnot because you can still BPM sync your LFOs and your envelopes. So each envelope, if I go into the envelope here, I have BPM sync, I can turn that on, and then my attack stage and decay stage is done by timing divisions, right? Yeah, so nice. let's say I have this set like so, and then I go into that, uh, sorry, where am I at here? That quantize, and as I turn that up, you'll see that it becomes more and more blocky. So you can get really interesting rhythmic design out of the synthesizer here. Nice. On top of that, this voice modulation menu is extremely deep. When we go into here, I'm gonna set the, the rotate mode here, which means every time I press a key, I get a new voice. Now, if I initialize a patch just by double tapping in it, I go to my voice here, and what I can do is I can put offsets per voice, and this is gonna allow me to have each voice acting independently. So if you think about something like a vintage Oberheim, like eight voice or something, where each voice was really a separate synthesizer, you can do that sort of thing inside of here now, but you can use it much deeper than that as well. You can use nice. this for sequencing, you can use this for manipulating your filters, changing your oscillator shapes, whatever you want. And it's just simply press the voice button and then touch where you want it to go. And now I have that voice mod is going to my filter cutoff and I can change my filter cutoff. So if I have this patch now where it's rather low, I'm going to uh, change this to rotate. Each one of these voices now ah, so it's, it's, will it's, have a different sound. Offset, right. So it's almost like, it's like uh, you have control over almost the slot in a way, right? Exa yeah. Exactly. So a lot of the patches that I've been building for myself, I'm building in my own like vintage analog kind of slop into them. And then you can decide how much of that you want, back it off. You still have the vintage analog feel type knob that's already in there but you have much deeper control of this now. Well, I know you did a load of patches for the original Hydrosynth bank yes. and, and probably are doing more, so we've got to hear something, right? You I've got a large bank that I'm ready to, 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 to push out there, but first I, gotta, I want to clean it up for everybody, make everybody happy, but we're, we're very dedicated to the Hydrosynth platform and, and continuing to support users with that. So have you got a couple of example patches you can play? Yeah, absolutely. So first here, just as an example, let's go ahead and bring up uh, this is an interesting one because another feature that I, that I didn't talk about is that we have this step LFO that now has a one-shot step mode. And what that means is that like a SH-101, each time you press a key, you, get to the you can step, step forward. Up. So this is actually a self-generative patch. And it could just run and, and evolve on its own through this step. And each time I press a key, I can use the arpeggiation or just to step that one key, or I could do it individual notes. Yeah. 
So I can step through this sequence individually, or I can use the arpeggiator to step through it that way. Interesting. And each voice is completely different because I'm using the voice modulation as well. Another beautiful thing that we can do here is this brass patch. I'll bring this up a bit for you. Now here I've got per voice modulation of my filter, my envelope timings, uh, drive amount, amp amount, oscillator panning, you name it, you could put it all on there. And it just gives you this beautiful wide brass sound. Nice. And let me pull up uh, one more for you. We'll do. Oh. Nice organ sound. a lot of uh, tonal change from a few of those macros. Absolutely, there, right? and with these macros, you can map eight different parameters to your macros, and then you can modulate your macros as well. So everything inside the Hydrosynth is still extremely accessible and easy to get to. Um, and remember, we've got the same voice engine in all of these Hydrosynths. The only difference being, of course, that the Deluxe is two of the engine inside of one. And you have, when you go into your voice menu on the Deluxe, if I go to single mode here, and I go to voice. When we look at the voice mod, we've got the eight voices here, but then I can page down and I have 16 of them. Wow, so okay. you can do 16 different voices all with independent modulation. Also with that step LFO, with the step advance, you can have that in a polyphonic mode to where each note is stepping individually and that can be per voice. Wow, complex. So very, very complex, but easy to use. So, um this is free, right? It's a free update for... Yep, free. you have to buy a Hydrosynth, but then it's free. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Free update for everybody. It also includes new patch manager software that's faster to use. We've done some improvements to the uh, Deluxe as well to where things like the user interface are a little bit more snappy. There's some bug fixes in there as well. So it's really all about just kind of making it better for the user. We've got... Uh, Sostenuto mode for, for yeah, your nice. uh, pedal really now handy, as well. Yeah. You've got Glissando, uh, a lot of little inner, little uh, user things that are just gonna make it easier to play and, and get what you want out of your Hydrosyn. Ken, thank you very much. Yeah, thank you, it was great seeing you.